Hello, uh, I'm going to explain in this video the relativity of simultaneity in the special theory of relativity. My actual goal is to uh, eventually explain the twin paradox uh, in, the, in Einstein's special theory of relativity, guided by an article published by Professor Richard Muller. Uh, you probably, you're probably familiar with uh, Richard Muller's popular physics lectures uh, on the Berkeley website, also available on YouTube. And uh, I'll start by saying that uh, Einstein realized that uh, the speed of light is the same in um, all reference systems. That means that if somebody shines a flashlight at you, you'll measure the same speed of light as in the case when you're driving, let's say, in a car, and somebody at rest on, um, on, the, s on the street is shining the flashlight at you. Now, this is contrary to the classical picture, because classically, if somebody is, uh, let's say, throwing a ball at you, the speed of the ball is larger if you are driving in a car towards it. Einstein um, realized that the classical equations of motions have to be modified, so that if a baseball is thrown with a speed closer and closer to the speed of light, um, when you are driving a car towards it, its apparent speed should not change too much. Now, the uh, relativity of simultaneity can be explained easily without the need of any equations. It is uh, most easily explained uh, by the following cartoons. Uh, we will analyze two situations. In the first situation, uh, an observer at rest um, looks at an uh, exploding star that is situated halfway between the two planets, A and B. And uh, this is at time equals zero. At time equals 100, uh, the light of the explosion of the exploding car, uh, star reaches planets A and B at the same time, so simultaneously. Now, in the second case, uh, the observer steps onto a rocket, moving with some velocity from left to right. From the uh, observer's point of view, the planets are actually moving towards him. So A moves towards him, B moves towards him. As you can see here, B is moved relative to its previous position. Uh, however, as I said, the speed of light is unchanged, and thus the center of the um, uh, light sphere remains unchanged. And that's because it takes the same amount uh, of time for light to move from here to here, and from here to there. So, uh, here you have two events that are simultaneous uh, in one system of reference and not simultaneous in another system of reference. In order to find the quantitative formulation for the relativity of simultaneity, I will review the Lorentz equations in Einstein's uh, special theory of relativity. And so let's consider two systems of reference, uh, X, Y, Z system, which I'll call the unprimed system, and X prime, Y prime, Z prime, which I'll call the prime system, moving with velocity V in the X direction. Einstein realized that the classical equations of, motions, of motion have to be modified and considered the simplest relationship possible between the position and time of an event measured in the prime system and the position and time of the same event measured in the unprime system by using some simple principles like the constancy of the speed of light and the fact that the motion is relative meaning that from the point of view of the moving system the stationary system is the one moving with velocity minus v uh, so using this simple, prin simple principles like that he found the following equations that link t prime and x prime to t and x. A gamma in this equation is uh, this factor and is always bigger than one. Uh, now I would like you to realize a few things about these equations which are not pointed out very well in te textbooks unfortunately. The value of t prime can be arbitrarily shifted by just changing the position of the origin so the, the origin of x here that may seem like a paradox at first sight because at the given position and time in the fixed system 
you can shift T prime arbitrarily by an artificial change in the origin, which seems weird. However, you should realize that T prime is um, the time measured by the moving observer uh, and is not accessible to the observer at rest. As a result, one cannot observe anything unphysical, and so everything is okay. Uh, to finish uh, the discussion with the relativity of simultaneity and get the formula for it, if you take two events separated by delta t, uh, by a t1 minus a t, t2, and by delta x in the unprimed system, uh, according to the Lorentz equation, we will get the following for uh, delta t prime. And you should note that the simultaneity is um, uh, uh, violated if your delta x is uh, non-zero. Even if delta t is zero in the unprimed system, delta x, let's say, is not zero, and then delta t prime is not zero. Uh, the only way you can have simultaneity in both systems is if both delta t and delta x are zero. So, thank you for watching this video.